is to refuse or accept or be associated with. Okay, so I got the definition. To repudiate is to refuse to accept or be associated with. So you're basically just denying something. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm looking at. Let's see. Refuse to fulfill or discharge an agreement, obligation, or debt. So it's basically just refusal of something. So let's rewind this back because we're, we're deep diving here. We're not just going to watch it and then say, eh, that sounds okay, nothing wrong with that. We're deep diving. We want to break it down. We want to understand what he's saying. Let's to go. meet another group. Well, okay, I understand that they think this is wonderful idealism. It, in fact, repudiates what has made America, America. When I say I want us to repudiate identity politics and return to a set of ideals in which all America... Okay, so he's saying he thinks we should refuse identity politics. But wait a minute. Wait just one doggone minute here, though. On paper, that sounds fine. Identity politics, ooh, it's so bad, right? Oh, it's terrible. So what would we replace it with? You guys think about that? What would we have if we, if everyone said, okay, no more, no more identity politics? Now he's talking about left, right, liberal, Democrat, Republican, uh, whatever, all the other different types of things. Those are all identity politics, are they not? So what happens if we all say, okay, well, we don't want none of those. We don't want any of that stuff anymore. Then what are we going to be left with? Our individualism will be gone. Will all be the damn same. That's the opposite of what we need to have. We all need to be free to be who we are, to be who we want to be, to support who we want, no matter who it is. Support who you want, believe what you want. That's our that's our right. So maybe he's not fully understanding what he's saying right here and maybe he doesn't fully comprehend what refusing identity politics means or maybe I'm just don't fully understand yet but let's keep going friends are equal under the law and all have equal innate human dignity that is a huge majority of the American population of every ethnicity. I agree I'm absolutely that. confident. If that's the case, we've got to tell each other that. that. We've got to say out loud that we believe this stuff, and we've got to stop letting the people who say the color blindness is, is hate speech, we've got to stop letting them dominate the conversation. And we've, we've got to... We got to identify this overwhelming American majority, which still loves what made this country special. 
great conversation. Well worth watching. You can find well, it on Tucker Carlson today. It's on Fox, which still... I was catching a lot of that, except dominate. right at the end, and, the he's, and he lost me. People who say the colorblindness is... It. We'll go a little bit further back. Majority of the American population of every ethnicity. I agree. I'm absolutely under the law and all have equal innate human dignity. That is and return to a set of ideals in which all Americans are equal under the law and all want us to they think this is wonderful idealism it in fact repudiates what has made America America when I say I want us to repudiate identity politics and return to a set of ideals in which all Americans are equal under the law and all have equal innate human dignity, that is a huge majority of the American population of every ethnicity. I agree. I'm absolutely confident. Okay, so I think I've just gathered enough to make an assessment. At least for right now. We're not done with this yet. We're not completely done with this yet. We're not even close. It's only my second video on this stuff. We had to... Trust me. We're, we are just getting started. But as of right now, I'm going to give you my opinion. That's what you come here for anyways. You want to hear what my opinion is. And here it is. In the first video, she says. Charles Murray says black people have lower IQs than white people. Basically, that they were born different. That they have, uh, that it's, that it's genetic or that it could be genetic. It's basically what she was saying. That's what he's, that's what he's, that's what his, uh, that's what he's talking about. That's what she says. Is it not? Is that not what she said? Did he just say that? Doesn't sound like it to me. To me, sounds like he's saying there's differences, generally speaking, between white people and black people only because of systemic racism. Or differences in opportunities, different life experiences, stuff like that. I could at least understand that argument. But to suggest that he's saying that we're born differently. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear him say that. What I heard him say is that we're all equal. Is that not what he said? Let's run it back again. Because I want to make sure I got this now. Alright? That's what we're here to do. We're here to deep dive. We're here to understand. What's he saying? When I say I want us to repudiate Here we go. Again. identity politics and return to this a set important. of ideals in which all Americans are equal under the law and all have 
equal innate human dignity, that is a huge majority of the American population of every ethnicity. I'm absolutely confident. If that's the case, we've got to tell each other that. that. We've got to say out loud that we believe this stuff and we've got to stop letting the people who say the color blindness is, is hate speech. That we've got population of every ethnicity. I agree I'm absolutely that. confident. If that's the case, dignity, that is a huge majority of the American population of every all Americans are equal under the law and all have equal innate human dignity identity politics and return to a set of ideals in which all Americans are equal under the law and all have equal innate human dignity that is a huge majority of the American equality under the law is different from all men are created equal those are two different things but it, it kind of sounds like I like where he's going with this though because that's important too equal rights and equal opportunities for everybody that's what we need to be working on But it does seem to say, it does seem like what he's saying here is that the system has made us different. The system has made us different. But underneath of all that, the only difference is color. That's what I think he's saying. I could be wrong, but that's what I think he's saying. I think he's saying we're all created equal. And under the law, we all need to have the same rights and opportunities. Like I said, I could be wrong. Contradictions happen all the time. Maybe this is just something he's saying here. You know, maybe the, the woman that did the other video, maybe she's actually read all of his books and has studied this guy for a long time. And maybe that's just what he's saying here. I'm going to call it right down the middle. If it's wrong, I'm going to call it wrong. I don't care if it's what side it's what, what side. I don't care what side it's on. In my view. There's only two sides, right and wrong. And right and wrong exists on both sides of the political spectrum and actually on, on all degrees of the spectrum because it's a, it's a complicated mess. It's not something that we can understand after a couple videos. It's not going to happen. We got a lot of research to do. But what we're going to do is going to be a lot different than what somebody else is going to do. What somebody else is going to do, they're going to sit in front of a screen, read a script, and say, well, here's what, what's going on, right? And they do this all the time. I don't know how many times I've watched people do this. They'll sit in front of a screen. And they'll tell us what they want us to know. But then that's it. They're not going to show us any news clips. They're not going to show us the smoking gun, if you will. What I, that's what I call it, the smoking gun. You see, right now, what we're looking at is getting close to the smoking gun. What that woman didn't show us. What you're supposed to do, you're supposed to tell us what you want us to know, then prove it. 99% of the time, everything I hear 
is people just talking and then that's their smoking gun. It's because they've told us something and we're supposed to believe them because they said it. Well, who the hell are they? Hell no. We're not doing that here. I'm not just going to sit here and tell you what I think and then expect you to sit there and go, oh, okay. That sounds right. No. We're here to investigate. We're here to look for the truth. Now, if there's any videos you guys know of that shows what this guy is really about, what his, his beliefs are, not his politics, don't really care about his politics. Don't really care if he's, you know, what side he's on. There's more to a man than what what political identity he has. So much more than that. I may What I care about is his core beliefs. That's what I care about. The way that he views the world. You're not going to get that just by saying he's a Republican or he's a Democrat. And then all of a sudden you're supposed to know from that whether they're good or bad, whether they're right or wrong. No, that's impossible. It doesn't work that way. Alright y'all. I'm gone. I hope y'all like this. I hope we can have some decent discussions. And y'all can go ahead. You know. Let's figure out if we can start collecting pictures of of textbooks from different areas all over the United States all over the place cuz then what I'll do is maybe I'll put I'll put them on the screen and we'll actually take a look at them side by side and compare them you know maybe we'll look at New York then go all the way to to Kentucky. You know, then we'll look at Tennessee. We'll see what what textbooks like look like in Tennessee. I'm sure there's going to be some difference. But they shouldn't be too far apart either. They should be pretty similar. Alright y'all. I'm going.